Hey Namjik Guru here with a look at the Narcos trailer. And I know what you're thinking. You don't cover that Narcos TV show. That's what Castle Vargelon is for. And you're right. But there's a video game now? So uh, I got an email about this asking if I wanted to cover the game. And I'm like, I'm surprised you're making a Narcos video game. But absolutely, I want to see what that is. So let's check out the trailer together and then watch some gameplay videos. They called it White Gold. Okay. Back in 81, it was a single oh, most gold with cocaine thing that's shaping cute. the country of Colombia. Yeah, that's for fair. better or for worse. There was no well, for better. That depends on your point of view. You well, see, unless your point of view is of, of a monstrous a lot murderer, of people, a whole then lot of yeah. Money. We're talking more than seventy million dollars a day at its height. And, and I know he built schools and he built houses, Patron. but you know. But when that level of money and is involved, politically speaking, I can't debate is never his behind. desire to extract money from America to help his country. A few years to but instead, he built giant palaces for himself and mass murdered America people. to sit up and take notice. I'm saying he's not a great guy. A year literally flying away from the U.S. No Treasury. one is fighting me on this. By the way. Of course, it was the money. For me, though, it was about fulfilling my duty to my country. I feel like this is not actually Boyd Hallbrook. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. But they're actually doing clips from the show, so that's nice. My name is Steve Murphy, DEA, and this is where it all began. I saw no gameplay in that trailer. All right, next up is a cart video about the cartels. In Colombia, we're seen as the good guys. I don't know that that's true. Good guys who sometimes need to do bad things. I feel like the it's vast majority of Colombians a, in a brutal war over what they call white gold oh, would not we have preferred them. you be there. They watch us. We lose people. They lose people. When one side moves ahead, the other is left behind. Where? In the barrios, in the jungle. So it really is an XCOM style game. Only the best strategy takes the upper hand. Only the most effective Damn. team takes control. This country is ours. That's that's a guy executing soldiers. For I'm not I'm not Choose great with that. Side. It's not a hard decision to make. And now let's see the American video. In Colombia, we're seen as the good guys. Oh, good you guys see? Who sometimes need to do bad things. They're opening it the same way. It's the difference, of course, being that, you know. In a brutal war um, how shall I put this? Call white gold. Wait, it's the exact. Oh, I get it. Them. Okay. That's very they clever. Watch us. We lose people. They lose people. Aww, that's nice. But seriously, and I can't stress this enough, one of the sides murders a lot of children in the barrios, and, you know, in the jungle, extracts in the money to build super mansions, takes the upper hand. and the other side, like, Only the might have some mild political corruption. Takes control. This country is ours, and we will fight for it. Wow. Choose your side. I don't... Okay. And now here's what the game actually looks like in action. I feel very weird about this game, because, I mean, I'm on record adoring XCOM-style games. I play a lot of XCOM-style games. Right? And how shall I put this? I'm a little nervous about one being themed around okay. real life murder. Seriously, that's your plan? Does it have. Okay, it does not have. Damn. This dude's got a lot of shots. Uh, I just noted. Oh no! Poor Fernandez. I'm being ridiculous. Uh. No, what interests me is, like, normally when I play games like these, I'm fighting aliens or spies in fictional versions of huh? the 1980s. You know, stuff like that. Get into so, t 
to suddenly be playing as... Steady oh, God! Real people killing other real people who are historically just, you know, poor people who had no other opportunities other than to turn to drugs. And I might be making excuses for them. I've heard crazier ideas, but Comic. it's just... I'm worried that this is going to... Oh, God. Steady. Leave me with a sour taste in my mouth the way uh, all of those Vietnam games did. Well, that's good. So, yeah, there's a Narcos video game. This is crazy, right? That they've made a Narcos video game? Like, I'm not against it, but... And, I mean, I'm definitely going to play it. I'm not crazy. It's just such a weird thing to make a game about and to make it as an XCOM-style... You know, uh, strategic, R maybe SRPG, maybe just turn-based strategy. I assume there's going to be character leveling up, but it looked like there were skills down there that we weren't getting to use. But what interests me is, like, is there, a, a, like, a Geoscape metagame on top of the combat? Are we just going to be going, like, I've been playing uh, Rebel Cops, which is a cool game. I like it. But basically there's a list of story missions and a list of side missions, and that's the whole game. Like the new XCOM from Firaxis was. And I prefer it when there is a geoscape, a map of the country, and you're figuring out what missions you want to do, and the missions are randomized, and you're earning resources and gaining strategic advantage. And while I like the look of the combat here, I don't know what the whole game around the combat is going to be are we just going to okay you're playing as the cartel here's a series of missions of murdering rivals murdering cops and then i guess building your racket i feel like there's got to be on one side a meta game that's about creating a drug distribution network and on the other side a meta game about destroying a d drug distribution network whether that's Finding informants, rescuing hostages, blowing up, like, coca fields, things like that. And my question is, like, what is the rest of this game? Because, here's the thing, and I mean, I'm not, oh no, the game's ahistorical, it's a video game, I get it. But, I will say, what is the, like, proportion of actual gunfights that happened? <laughs> In the whole drug wars. They call them the drug wars, but, you know, it seems like the vast majority of time, uh, either the drug dealers, the cartels, were ambushing and murdering cops, or the cops were ambushing and murdering cartel members. Like, it seems like this is a conflict largely about lying in wait and then murdering people when they're sleeping. And I'm guessing the video game is not going to reflect that, but I just wonder... What is this open warfare going to look like? And how are they going to spin it? Especially when you're playing as the cartels. I'm going to have to play as the cartels, aren't I? Just so I can offer some thoughts on that. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. This has been a look at the promotional material for up game, upcoming game Narcos. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely interested to see where this goes. So I guess I'll see you back here for more Narcos. But until then, au revoir.